Hi all, it's Nicole Waller from ARPO and welcome to the second part of the GDL Bible. In this part I will show you how to create new GDL objects, how to modify existing ones by opening their code and how to use GDL objects and what uh, they contain, what uh, scripts they contain. Uh, on this drawing you can see several GDL objects already placed the bed which I created, the wardrobe which I also created and on the lower floor we have uh, all of them are Archicad uh, default objects like the tables, the chairs and uh, the kitchen appliances. Uh, let's discuss uh, first how to create your own GDO objects. Uh, I highly encourage you to um, download GDO reference guide which is uh, which is easy to download by uh, going uh, to your Google Google um, search um, search pad and uh, type GDL reference guide. It's free to download. It's on PDF, and uh, you can go to the first site of Graphisoft and just uh, download the file. There uh, are the commands which are used. It's uh, not a big menu, it's just uh, uh, just um, about 200 pages and uh, most of it is uh, not needed. You need uh, less than that. And if we open that uh, you can see the commands, the uh, shortcuts, the different scripts and uh, so on. First uh, download that, but uh, for now we will not use that. I will show you how to create your own objects. So first, uh, the first way is to modify an existing object. Let's say I open this table which uh, we created in the firm. I open it by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus O and you can see the thumbnail, the scripts here, the 2D and 3D views, which are how the part is represented in the um, plan or also in 3D. You can see if I click on 2D view it will show the floor plan symbol and on 3D view the table itself. As I mentioned in the previous video, I, I will make a shortcut of it uh, down below. Um, all of the scripts are interconnected. Therefore, if I change one dimension by going to parameters, it's probably the most important tab, parameters. There are all of the parameters that are used in the GDO object. And uh, in this case, the dimension A, I make it 180. The table shall become lengthier. As you can see, it increased in length in floor plan. But also, if I go to the 3D view, it also increased in uh, the 3D window. And the first way is to open an existing part and um, delete all of its scripts. Or if you want to, uh, to have some script, uh, keep some of course. Uh, but uh, if you delete all of the scripts, and interface and go to file save as and you just uh, modify the name and uh, I'll say it uh, test uh, GDL file and selected folder and just save it uh, wh where you desire AC and uh, here the GTL save and now we can, uh, of course, uh, load it. It will do nothing, of course. It, it's an empty GDL. But uh, I will just uh, modify it uh, later to show you uh, what the task is. Let's uh, close it for a second. And uh, because I saved it in one of my loaded libraries, I will have to reload by going to out plus L, library major, and Reload libraries and apply the changes. Okay. 
and now we can see test video. It will do nothing of course, all of its parameters are not used in the script so it will just place uh, simple nothing. And uh, I can't even uh, locate it but uh, if we place it, uh, it, it doesn't do anything, it's just simple. Space, and I just deleted them. Uh, the, uh, of course, if you fill it with uh, something, it will do whatever uh, you like. But uh, first, you you need to start with uh, existing GTO objects for um, saving time. The second way is to go to File, Libraries and Objects, New Object, which will create the same. Uh, object from scratch. I will have to type uh, all of these settings here, which are not, not that uh, hard. You have to go to uh, public domain, type the author, description, keywords. Uh, let's say description is test GDL object and keywords are test GDL object. Simple stuff. And author is and no, doesn't matter. Parameters, uh, you can see uh, we have less parameters, only the most needed ones. A, B are the length and uh, width, and uh, Z, Z, Y, Z, X are, is the height. Therefore, we have to create uh, all parameters we desire and to group them. I will show you how it's done later. And uh, again, you will have to save that object, save as, and file and selected folder, and uh, test object uh, tgdl2 will create the object. That's the second way to create objects. And uh, the third way uh, is to, let's say, to build some uh, model elements uh, on the floor plan or in 3D let's say we build that cross, we intersect them And that, that's our GDO object. We go, uh, select uh, all, all the walls and uh, go to Libraries and Object, Save Selection as Object. And again, File and Selected Folder. Go to the same folder. And uh, let's say, say it's called GDO, no, Test GDO 3. Uh, here are some of the parameters that can be used. Of course, I will modify them. That are the fields of the walls. This is background the cut field. Uh, solid lines are the line types. And pens are the cut, cut line pen, the outline line pen, and the fill pen. Surfaces are the surfaces of the walls in this case. Let's type OK. And now we will load it. It's already loaded and uh, by placing it, you can see the effect. This is our GDO object. And even it's stretchable. But uh, it, it changes also the width of the walls. If I stretch it in this direction, only these walls become bigger. Uh, but that's uh, the way to start. Uh, you will, of course, again open it and go to some of the scripts and change what's written there to change the object and also the parameters. You see these parameters which uh, the menu asked me to change are actually some of the parameters of the object. A parameter is an attribute that uh, when changed, it changes some of the attributes of the object. And now, uh, for last, I will show you what the scripts are. 
uh, and the menus here, uh, not to look so intimidating. First, uh, we have the details tab. It's uh, modified only once. I suggest it isn't that important. You just type. Uh, it's important, of course, if you sell your GDL project, uh, projects or objects. And the author, you type yourself, usually, or your firm. Uh, public domain dedication if you want to share it freely and the commercial if you want to sell it. Of course, when you save the object, you can always modify this one. But when uh, typing commercial, usually uh, you have to set password. I suggest setting password, new password and retype new password. Therefore, uh, only people with the password can use that object. And uh, whenever, uh, let's say I set password for it, I type that one, two, three, one, two, three, OK, and save. And uh, I, I suspect that uh, whenever I want to open it, open its code, it will ask me to enter that password, one, two, three. And I go to that menu. And if I want to change password, I can just uh, set uh, nothing. Description is the uh, description of the object when viewing it with uh, um, library major and keywords are the same when searching in, uh, in, in the internet for the object. Also, uh, placeable, I suggest always use placeable. And uh, the most important menu here is uh, this one, object subtype. Uh, usually it's model element, but you can select subtype, model element, and there are tons of uh, elements that you can choose from. Also furnishing, you can say it's uh, bed or table, seating, storage, and anything. Furniture layout even. Uh, so it will send it to the uh, correct uh, menu in Archicad, but uh, basically I suggest for all furnishing use uh, furnishing as a um, as a subtype, furnishing element, and um, for all 2D objects used uh, here, you can say we have, um, let's see, we have uh, building elements also, but uh, you can use uh, basically uh, any 2D type zone or um, dimension marker and so on. And for a special object, use of course macro and uh, other types. Basically, GDL is the object that uh, the language that uh, uh, is uh, under of Archicad's commands there in GDL. And uh, let's close that menu. But uh, I highly uh, advise you just to select the subtype before t uh, typing anything else because if I select for instance, opening, mesh opening, uh, some additional parameters popped up here. And they, of course, are dependent of the subtype. If I say it's uh, uh, roof opening, dormer, you will see that a lot of additional parameters in blue popped up. So I suggest uh, setting this in advance. Let's return to general uh, to furnishing. But uh, be careful because if you select one subtype and it defines his own parameters, you cannot uh, later delete these parameters. So uh, choose wisely. I will not save the object later if I want to remove these parameters. Migration is a script that uh, I will not discuss now. It's very advanced. I don't uh, use that. It's uh, used for uh, migrating between different uh, ARCHICAD versions. Components, uh, again, it's uh, set for a macro or a complex GD object. We will not use that menu. It's not necessary. Descriptors, again, uh, it's uh, relative to components. And now the scripts. First the, and most important, the 3D script. You use it uh, almost all the time except when creating 2D objects. 
or zone stamps and so on. The 3D script is um, basically how the object is represented. Uh, you can you have here uh, multiple commands and uh, the result is uh, in the end uh, basically the result is this place group which uh, places our created uh, 3D objects in 3D but we have various settings here I will later show you in the next video ba some basic commands and we'll create our first GD object but for now, just keep in mind that 3D script is uh, for creating the object in 3D. To this, uh, logically, uh, creating the 2D representation of the object dependent of the environment, in floor plan, section and uh, elevation. Master is uh, one of the most important scripts uh, because it uh, defines variables or sets constraints to variables uh, of all other scripts. Uh, the variables defined in master script are um, usable also in the 2D script and 3D script. There, but if you define a variable in the 3D script, it cannot be used in the 2D script. Uh, these uh, scripts are separate. You can use only the variables that are defined in the master script or the parameter script in both 2D, 3D and parameter scripts. So the master script is very important for defining new uh, variables. For instance, if you have a, a circle and you have a certain distance uh, from the center of the heart, uh, you need uh, to define additional parameters to define the length of the heart and the uh, according center angle, you, you most appropriately have to define them here because they are used both for the 3D representation and for the 2D view. And uh, the fourth script is the parameter script. It sets the constraints of uh, the parameters here, uh, which uh, parameters shall be locked and uh, which shall remain, uh, remain uh, changeable. Uh, I will show you. Uh, let's say I type uh, this one, I will copy the name and I just place log and the name in apostrophes and if I go to parameters you can see it's locked now, I cannot change anything and uh, you can also hide some parameters in the parameter script, it's very useful I suggest uh, working simultaneously with uh, the parameter script and uh, the master script while by also creating the object in 3D and 2D. And the user interface script, it's uh, an advanced script, but I encourage you to use it at a later stage. It's, uh, it creates the, I will not save this object, but it creates uh, the menu, which some objects have. Uh, I will show you. This menu here, it's uh, defined in the user interface all of these buttons, icons and uh, which uh, elements to be seen and which uh, are not to be seen. But it's not, uh, it's not um, absolutely uh, a must uh, in GDL programming. You can see that this object doesn't have any uh, user interface, it just lists uh, the parameters in groups. But if you know uh, some of the user interface and how to make it, it's much more compact and uh, it's very pleasant to use. And let's uh, see what uh, oh, it still requires the same password. One, two, three, because I didn't save it. You remember I, I changed the password, but I didn't save the changes. And also we have uh, forward migration, backward mi migration. I don't use these scripts, they are not necessary, but uh, if you want to create advanced uh, GDL objects with uh, versions, you will need forward and backward migration scripts. 2D symbol is basically uh, an image which you place here. It has to be, I think, uh, 128 by 128 pixels and it uh, places itself here. You of course can later render the object and place the image uh, from the rendering here. Preview picture. 
is the picture which you pasted and how it looks. Let's see, I will tell you. It's 520 by five, uh, 512. 512 by 512. Um, the resolution and it places itself here. And uh, the 2D view and 3D view I already expressed. These are the objects in 2D and 3D. So thanks for watching. I'm Nicole Aleph from ArcPro signing off. And uh, this was part 2 of our series the GDL Bible, wishing you success in your architectural practice.